So now I've had a little boy come up to me on stage once and I've had these sorts of questions. He said, Mr. Ham, well, who made God? So here's this nine-year-old boy. What do I say to a nine-year-old boy when he says, who made God? How do you answer that? Because you know what, mum and dad, I'm sure if you've had kids, you've had them ask that question. How do we answer that? Who made God? So I said to him, well, son, if somebody made God, you'd have to have a bigger God, right? Well, yes, sir. I said, now you've got a problem. Yes, sir. Well, who made the bigger God? You'd have to have a bigger, bigger God that made the big God that made God, right? Yes, sir. Now you've got a problem. Yes, sir. Who made the bigger, bigger God? You have to have a bigger, bigger, bigger God. Made the bigger, big God. Made the big God. Made God, right? Yes, sir. Now you've got a problem. I know. <laughs> because then you'd have to have a bigger, 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 bigger God. Made the bigger, bigger, bigger God. Made the bigger, big God. Made the big God. Made God. And 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 son, we can keep going back and getting a bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger God. But you know the only thing that makes logical sense, you have to have the biggest God of all. The infinite creator God, infinite in wisdom, infinite in knowledge, outside of time, who created all things just like the Bible says. See, it's interesting. When I debated Bill and I up here on that platform, at the end we had a question time, and one of the questions was written out by a 10-year-old boy. He said, where did matter come from? And so the moderator said, well, Bill and I, how do you answer the question? Where did matter come from? He said, I don't know. It's a mystery. And then he said, Mr. Ham, how do you answer that question? I said, well, Bill, there is a book that tells us where matter came from, tells us who we are, what life is all about, what our problem is, what the solution is in Jesus Christ. And you see, here's the thing. If you think about it, atheists mock it. You believe in an eternal God? How stupid. What do they believe in? Eternal matter? Uh, energy? Eternal energy? Where did it come from? Where did the energy come from? Where did space come from? Where, where did anything come from? Why does anything exist? I mean... How do they explain that? You see, they have a blind faith, but we have a faith that makes sense of what we see. And this book, regardless of what anyone claims, claims to be the revealed word of God who knows everything, who says, God moved people by his spirit to, to give us the true history of the universe, to tell us who we are, where we came from, where matter came from, where life came from. He created out of nothing. Because he's an infinite creator God. Hey, by the way, you know what? I sometimes think about that and contemplate that. What does it mean that God is infinite in knowledge and wisdom? It means no matter how much we know, we know nothing compared to what God knows. And if this is his word, how dare we take what fallible humans say and try and change God's word, like in Genesis, to try and fit evolution of millions of years in? How dare we do that? Hey, no wonder the Bible says, if you don't believe in God, you're without excuse. Isn't it exciting to be a Christian? 